It is common knowledge that certain drugs work really well for some but not for others. Some people tend to feel relief with a smaller dose, while others may require a larger dose for the same effect. Caffeine is no different. Some people feel refreshed with only one cup a day, and others may still be dozing at the desk after three cups. Research reveals that the amount of caffeine you consume may be influenced by certain genes. Before we talk more about these genes, let's have a look at some well-researched benefits of caffeine. Caffeine can offer protection against heart diseases and diabetes. According to a study, men and women who drink 1 to 4 cups of coffee every day, have a 16 to 18 percent lower risk of heart disease. Another review reported that people who drink coffee have up to a 29 percent lower risk for diabetes. Caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant, so it can increase your metabolism and fat burning. Consuming 300 milligrams of caffeine per day can help you burn an extra 79 calories daily. Caffeine consumption can also benefit your mood and brain function. Drinking 3 to 5 cups of tea per day may also reduce the risk of brain diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's by 28 to 60 percent. Caffeine drinking behavior seems to be driven, in part, by your genes. The largest G was study done on caffeine intake to date confirmed the association between CYP1A2 and AHR genes and caffeine consumption. G was stands for Genome-Wide Association Studies and involves scanning the entire genome to understand which changes in genes are associated with specific health conditions or traits. The CYP1A2 gene produces a liver enzyme which is also called CYP1A2. This enzyme is critical for the metabolism of caffeine. Metabolism is the process by which large and complex things like food molecules and medicines are broken down into smaller components to produce energy, build or repair body tissue, produce hormones, among other things. The AHR gene produces aryl hydrocarbon receptors that control when and how the CYP1A2 gene is switched on and off. The study found that the T allele of the CYP1A2 gene is consistently linked to a higher coffee intake than the more common C allele. In the general population, the T allele is found in 10% of the people. However, 25% of the people with European ancestry, where coffee consumption is highest, per capita, have the T allele. Scientists believe that the T allele results in higher activity of the CYP1A2 enzyme, due to which caffeine is broken down faster. So, people with the T allele tend to consume more caffeine. Changes in the genes responsible for caffeine breakdown also affect your response to certain drugs. For example, people who tend to break down caffeine faster also tend to be more resistant to certain drug therapies of schizophrenia. Analyzing your CYP1A2 gene can not only provide personalized insights on healthy caffeine consumption, but also help with choosing the right dosage for certain drugs. A simple genetic test can help you with this. Most genetic tests provide your DNA information in the form of a text file called the raw DNA data. This data may seem like Greek and Latin to you. We, at Xcode Life, can help you interpret this data. All you have to do is upload your raw data and order a gene nutrition report. Xcode Life then analyzes your raw data in detail to provide you with comprehensive nutrition analysis, including information on your CYP1A2 gene. If you are interested in the pharmaceutical aspect of the CYP1A2 gene, you can check out the personalized medicine report as well.